Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 5th. Now, keep in mind that the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you. This reading may or may not be for you, okay? This is a general reading for whoever it resonates with. It's not science specific, okay? So, we're just going to see what comes up. Three of Wands. So the Three of Wands could be an arrival or a departure. This is getting prepared. Get prepared, okay? Because there's, there's movement. There's going to be movement. This is big plans for the future. This is somebody that is, it's like their bags are packed. They're ready to go. They're going someplace. This could be a relocation, all right? This is a definite decision. There's been indecision. This is a definite decision to uh, go someplace else. Strength card reversed. Now, the strength card reversed is weak. There's some sort of weakness here. There's been some sort of weakness. Uh, we may even have some illness here. Um, we may have somebody here that is depressed, but they're leaving behind something. Okay, because that's the, the three of wands is leaving behind some sort of, I don't know, fear. Maybe it's fear. Maybe somebody is letting go of their fear. Because the strength card was reversed. This is really stepping forward. I mean, it really is. This is leaving behind something that was probably fearful, maybe even depressing. Okay? That's just leaving it behind. Letting go of fear. Ten of swords reversed. Ugh. Death. Oh my goodness. We may have, we definitely have an ending here. Okay. Both of those cards represent death. There's nothing I can do about that. That's the fact. Okay. So there's some sort of ending here. Okay. This is like, uh, it's like a death. Okay. This is the worst has happened. This is freedom. Okay. It's freedom. This is a separation or a loss that leads to a new beginning. This is, it could happen very, very suddenly. There could be a near death experience or it is a death. Okay. This is like the end of a situation. Um, it's a straw that breaks the camel's back. Uh, there's been a lot of pain. There's been a lot of suffering. We may even have somebody here that is weak. You know, they're weak. You know, they're sick. I'm not sure what is going on. Um, but we do have a departure. We have somebody here that is leaving a situation where there's been some sort of force. There's been some sort of control. They may be forced to leave. Somebody may be forced to leave. Queen of Swords reversed. We have a woman here that is causing some sort of havoc. This is somebody that may be very harsh, may be very bitter. She may be cutting somebody out. She's saying something really, really nasty. Uh, or she's just saying something that is very, very harsh. Okay, this is somebody that is very critical. Maybe a professionist. Uh, perfectionist. She may be obsessive, compulsive, or she's just mean-spirited. This is somebody that may just be acting, you know, cruel. She doesn't care. She's unforgiving. She's a liar, a cheat. There could be somebody here that is, is just being, you know, very, very aggressive. Forcing. There's some sort of forceful energy here. Um, magician. Taking action. Doing something. Uh, magician is, is definitely somebody that is doing something. They're putting some plans in action. This is somebody that is taking an opportunity. They're taking charge, okay? This is somebody that um, is committed. They are committed to taking action. They're going to do something. Um, this may be revenge, or this is just something. It could be somebody that is really pissed off. They're trying to force something. Because I see force here. Forcing somebody to leave. I feel control as well. I feel like we have a very controlling individual here. Ah. Eight of Wands. Now, Eight of Wands is about messages and it's about fast forward movement. So there's probably going to be some fast forward movement here. I wonder if somebody has been made aware or they've seen something because the a magician is highly aware and this is messages, it's news or, you know, it's information. Okay. So I wonder if somebody has received some information or they've seen some messages or they've become aware of some sort of information that gives them the opportunity to, uh, end something you know eight of wands that's messages that's things happening really 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 fast action is definitely going to be taken i feel like we have a woman here that is 
very unforgiving. She's, uh, she's doing something. She's doing something to cause movement, okay? There's going to be movement. This is like the straw that breaks the camel's back as well. Very unforgiving energy. The world reversed. The world reversed is flogging a dead horse, resisting change, no success, um, lack of success. Taking action taking action. Somebody here wants success. There's no success here. The world rever the magician is about success, but the world card is right next to it. We have somebody here that is stuck. It's like they're stuck in the present. They're stuck in a situation where there's no success. They may and you know, we may have a woman here that is not very giving. She's very cold. She's she's uh hard to deal with you know she's harsh she's she doesn't care she's not very caring she's very forceful she's she may be even somebody that uh, I don't know there's some sort of sickness here or weak or you know laziness There's going to be a departure with that three of wands that is that is leaving something behind. And, and, and you know, the queen of swords, I often call the queen of swords in reverse to somebody that is very, you know, this is like a cruel. I, we may have somebody here that is saying something really, really cruel. Um, Knight of Cups acting on feelings. We may even have a masculine because the magician is a masculine energy that is taking action in regards to love. This person may be moving away from a cruel woman, okay? This cru this woman it does not is not nice. This is not a nice person. is very critical, um, obsessive, compulsive, you know, uh, hard to love. Um, the world. Somebody could be leaving without even saying goodbye, you know, with the world card reverse. They, they, they could. The Knight of Cups is acting on feelings, looking for love, looking for a relationship, looking for tender, loving care. And the Eight of Wands are the rods of love. We do have the end. Somebody is about to experience an ending, okay, with the Ten of Swords and the Death card. There is an ending here. It's the end of, of suffering. It's the end of being down. Somebody has reached a point where they can't take it anymore. This is definitely a breaking point. Time to focus on the future. There's been a lot of fear. Maybe it's leaving the fear behind, leaving behind this nasty woman that uh, isn't very giving, isn't very generous. Um, the world card reversed is flogging a dead horse. There's no success here. Looking for a relationship where there is love, where there is emotional support, taking action. Somebody is taking action. They are. They're, they want success. They're going to be uh, expressing feelings or could be an approach. Somebody may be receiving a message or messages, you know, an increase. Things could be happening really, really fast. We have a very intelligent, skilled individual here that is going to be finding their resources to take action. They've been in an unsuccessful phase or unsuccessful situation with an individual that is very hard to deal with. Um, but the Knight of Cups is following the heart, expressing feelings, looking for love, looking for a relationship, moving very, very fast. Because the fast is the Eight of Wands that's right next to it. King of Pentacles could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. This is somebody that is solid, that is stable, that is responsible, that is respectable. This is somebody that has worked hard. This is an older individual that is very capable of success, that has uh, worked hard to become successful. Okay, this is a hard, hard, hard worker that has earned some sort of respect through uh, the time and energy that they have put into their work. Um,
king of pentacles this is somebody that is very cunning and clever somebody is going to be getting an offer okay with the knight of cups right next to that king of pentacles they're going to be getting a very emotionally fulfilling offer there's going to be an increase there could be intimacy here with that eight of wands somebody may be increasing communication things could be speeding up somebody may be getting into a relationship it could be happening very suddenly um king of pentacles that is somebody that is very wise that is intelligent that has worked hard this person has some sort of skill and we do have skills with a magician as well we have a this is a golden opportunity somebody is taking an opportunity they see an opportunity they're taking it they're taking it they're releasing their fear and they're taking an opportunity they are they may have ignored the opportunity in the past because the world card is reversed maybe they let fear get in the way or they were dealing with a woman could be an ex could be a mother-in-law could be a stepmother could be somebody that they were living with there is some but that's over it's ending they're ending it with this witch okay there's an ending with a woman that isn't very that is cruel this woman is cruel she's she's uh selfish And maybe this woman has found something out. I'm not sure if this woman has found something out and it causes the departure. That three of wands is a departure, but it's also an arrival, which is interesting. Hermit reverse, the end of loneliness. Somebody may have been in hiding, you know, they may have been hiding their feelings. It's right next to the Knight of Cups, okay? They may have been hiding their feelings or they were reflecting or they were taking a time out. They were thinking a lot. It's time to socialize. It's time to reconnect. It's time for um, emotional fulfillment. There's going to be something that is happening fast. It's going to be increased communication or things speeding up. Um, there could even be a proposal here taking action to bring success there could be a new awareness with the magician and the in the hermit reverse maybe somebody has been taking a time out to think they've become aware they've become awakened um they've been flogging a dead horse in an unsuccessful situation with i feel like we have a woman here that is very hard to deal with Anyhow, I feel like this is about prosperity. It's about abundance. The King of Pentacles is all about long-term prosperity and abundance. You know, this is somebody that has worked hard to become uh, abundant and has a lot to offer. I think it's the end of waiting. It's the end of waiting. It's the end of hiding. It's the end of restrictions. Um, following the heart, following the intuition, looking for love, moving very, very fast in a new direction. Good luck.